Huh. I thought my camera was on, but it wasn't. What's up YouTube? So it's been a day or two since I posted a video. Um, did a little bit of time, spending time with the family over the uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, did a little bit of fishing, just a little bit, with my camera of course. I uh, just didn't really have a lot of time to upload a video, you know, trying to do a little bit of family time and stuff. Um, what I want to show you guys today is something that really came in handy the other day. I went out to uh, below Wilson Dam. I usually always go above Wilson Dam and it's usually not too bad. But I went out below Wilson Dam and uh, I got a little got a little courage and um, they had one of the turbines going and it was uh, had a little bit of a current, a little bit of current picked up. Um, it wasn't too bad going down obviously but coming back up it was a little bit of a pain. Um, the catch handled just fine, didn't do too bad, although I will say when you get into that fast moving water, man, for every five or six strokes with the paddle, you move maybe about a half a foot, maybe six inches, so keep that in mind. Maybe brush up on your PT a little bit if you want to go take this thing out in some really strong current. Um, but for the most part, it handled fine. But what really came in handy out there was my anchor, having an anchor. Um, what I've got here is just a really, really, really simple version of an anchor. Um, I made it myself. Uh, the only things that I did not make uh, by myself were the actual anchor part, um, which is your actual, you know, your uh, claw anchor. Um, that you can buy, I think, I think I got it at Academy for like 10 bucks, maybe, something like that. Um, this whole anchor system has got probably about 12 bucks in it, <laughs> so it's not very expensive. It's very easy to use. Um, this is just a standard uh, standard claw anchor and the way this thing works is you just kind of undo it and twist it around and you set it and you put this drop this down in the water and what this does is this kind of grabs on the bottom you know on the bottom of the you know on the ocean or the river wherever you're fishing at and it just kind of digs in um, and it just holds you off and it works really really good um, one of my biggest pet peeves though with these things is I see a lot of guys rig these things up and it's great um, to rig it, you know, just hook it to this, tie it off to this end right here. But what's going to happen is over time, eventually, <laughs> anybody who's owned a boat will tell you this, eventually this thing is going to get stuck and you're not going to be able to get it back up. So what I've got done here is I've actually got it tied off to the main point on the bottom here. And then I've just got it run up on the side, the rope run up on the side and zip tied off with about a, this is about a 10 or 12 pound zip tie. So, you know, you snatch with about 10 or 12 pounds of force, it's going to pop this zip tie. And what it's going to do is it's going to turn this thing upside down. So with these claws dug in, you know, when you obviously when you turn it this way and you're pulling this way, it's going to pull from a different angle. So it's going to pull it out from under whatever it's stuck on, hopefully, and you won't lose your anchor. Um, but yeah, that's how that's how the claw anchor works. But this the rest of this whole setup here, all this is is a the rope that came with the actual uh, anchor. I think I got the rest of this because I needed a little bit more because where I fish at it's up in the 80s and 90s of, as far as feet deep so it's pretty deep. Um, but this is a just regular cord. I think I got this cord from Harbor Freight. Three bucks maybe. Two dollars something like that. Um, a 98 cent pool noodle which I use for a bunch of other things on the kayak and a I think this was a 60 cent extension cord reel and a carabiner. I get these free from work um, and they work great. Just you know, hook them on wherever. Um, this particular yak I do actually have an anchor trolley on here. I'll go over that in a later video show you guys how to hook that up. It's super easy, super simple. But basically all this is is you clip your anchor off on the side of your yak and you just kind of unroll as much cord as you need. Drop your anchor down and you're set. And you can actually set this thing in the water and it is actually good enough to float all of this cord on top of the water so you set this thing down on the water and it's going to float 
and say for instance you get into a danger area or you hook a big fish and it's pulling you and you want to disengage from your anchor well you just unclip this thing and it's going to float and it's going to stay pretty much where it's at and you can paddle back over to it whenever you get done doing what you're doing pick your anchor back up and recover it and pull it right back up off the bottom super easy super easy to maintain very simple to make um, I think I watched a DIY video on how to make this thing on YouTube so I love YouTube it's great for finding out how to make things but I'm just sharing what I've learned with you guys in case you guys didn't see it anywhere else it's a super easy to make I and mean, you can kind of look at it and see the design and just see kind of how it's made and you can pretty much put it together in your head you literally just you get all the materials and you just you know you go at it and it's it's super easy it's gonna save you money and it's gonna help you out in the long run as far as you know yakking um, that's really pretty much all I want to do for today uh, but what I do want to tap you know double tap on is uh, I know some of you guys have been watching a couple of my videos and um, I have not caught a fish yet on camera <laughs> and that really irks me but what happened this weekend I did actually catch uh, get a couple catches on camera this weekend um, and I also found out another thing I am horrible with a head mount on a GoPro so those of you who've been suffering you know through that terribleness with me I will now be doing most of my videos when I'm fishing on the kayak with my chest rig um, I caught a really nice uh, catfish channel catfish yesterday and a bunch of brim and when I caught them I thought where I thought I had my head mount set on my GoPro it was way off so you could see the fish when I held them up but when I was doing what I was doing with my hands it was completely off camera but you know I managed to get like a really quick shot of the fish and that was pretty much it so everything else I was doing with the fish nobody could see so I'm gonna upload that footage after this video and just kind of show you guys just what I'm talking about but lesson learned that's exactly what YouTube's for that's exactly what this platform's for is to help us learn and to help us grow and I am learning a lot with uh, you know how to do this video footage and what works and what doesn't work um, you guys help me out too I know you guys a lot of you guys have watched these videos have been doing this for a lot longer than I have If you've got suggestions on how to make things a little bit easier you know help a buddy out you know make make it make my life a little bit easier help me make you better content because um, I really really enjoy in doing this um, and getting on here and using this platform to just kind of tell you you know about my life and what I'm doing and I'm really enjoying it so if you like this video give me a thumbs up let me know how you feel um, if you are interested in these type of videos I'm gonna continue doing them um, I'm really enjoying it I'm really learning a lot so uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me on uh, YouTube, follow me on Instagram. I've also got you know Facebook as well. All of my social media is linked in my About Me page. And check me out and I'll continue to upload videos like this. I found the Cave of Wonders, I think. Hmm. If I can get close enough. This wall is covered with fishing line. I'm trying to go in there. Dude. That's cool. A deep hole. A big crack all the way down the middle. Right on. That's cool. Huh. I thought my camera was on, but it wasn't. That's a little bream sunfish. Pretty color. Tried to swallow it.
hook was bigger than you are. Go free. Pretty colors. That's for sure. That's a nice color, pretty color. Run away! He'll make it.
ربي